April. Congratulations. Thank you. Where's Janet? Doing a Thatcher, proving she can still rustle up a canopy in the kitchen when necessary. It's been too long. Possibly. It's a triumph for womankind. Well, for any kind, for that matter. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm a bit surprised. Really? Well, I am. I may not believe in politics, but I absolutely do believe in you. I have an announcement. What is it, darling? I'm leaving you as a woman. <laughs> During the campaign while I was on the road and you kept telling me I could do it. You did do it. And you were doing it while I did it. Oh. It's not my wife! She chose me. Martha, you knew. Because I was so dedicated to saving our country, you decided to let them do it in your flat. I thought better than in your house. You're a first-class lesbian and a second-rate thinker. Must be all those women's studies. We shared everything. Everything? Did you sleep together? Once. It was fun, though. What's happening? Revenge. No, I don't believe in revenge. I never have. Although it might have a deleterious effect on your career strategy, you could consider murder. Tom is one of those amoral money men. Intellectuals, you think you're so superior. Money bought this house, not ideas. Truth. Is that a concept that any of you have heard of? This is our last supper in a 21st century postmodern, post-post-feminist sort of way. If you really want to run this country, you will have to do something about your hair. I was working day and night for our party. I thought you were a sister. Oh, that dates you, Janet. Sisterhood is a very aging concept, sweetheart.